Oh my gosh. I think that was on the camera. Oh my gosh, dude. Did you see that, Rudy? Gee whiz. That was a bass and a half. <laughs> Like there could be some bass in here. Clear water. Clear water. Fifty-six point two two, Rudy. Sorry about that, buddy. They mean to get you with it. Sorry. We're hunting them up in the lily pads. First time coming to this place. Water temperature is 56.18. I saw some 57 degree water. So uh, we're going to get bit. We're going to get some fish today. Got to just figure it out. You could literally fish a different lake every day for a couple months straight and not get them all. There's that many lakes here on the Oregon coast. Just uh, grab a map and pick your poison.
you missed one, buddy. Yeah. There we go, Rudy. Had to put it on the jig, buddy. Yep. There it is, right there. Let's get, oh, let's get out of here. Reverse. That's probably not the only one there. That was about the third cast. About the third cast, Rudy. Black and blue jig. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, the old black and blue jig, boom, right off a chunk of wood. Oh my gosh! I think that was on the camera. Oh my gosh, dude. Did you see that, Rudy? Gee whiz. That was a bass and a half. I think they're here. Gee. I think we're gonna put on the spinner. We're gonna put on chatterbait. Wow!
Sun's coming out, bud. 57.22. And we found some fish. Had, I caught one on a jig, had another one bite the jig, and then I had one chase the jig down. Uh, kind of wanted to catch them on a spinnerbait, chatterbait type deal also. So we're just going to circle back through here where I had the bites and see if a chatterbait will pick one up. So far, nothing on uh, the jerkbait or chatterbait. Well, I just put the chatterbait on, but nothing on the spinnerbait or the jerkbait. I know I can go through here, keep trying the jig and stuff, and I will go back to that. Sneaky Pete, huh? Want some breakfast? That bass wanted that jig awful bad. He almost jumped, almost swam in the kayak. Fifty-seven point oh two. It's warming up, Rudy. up fishing at that coastal lake and I wanted to hit the Umpqua River for the tide and see if I couldn't catch a striped bass for uh, dinner. So uh, I think high tide was at 3.30 so I wanted to be fishing around 4, 4.30, let that tide start running back out and I figured I hope we could catch a striped bass or two. Uh, this is a neat little slough arm uh, that flows off the Umpqua River that the uh, largemouth bass stack up on. And if you float back in there, there's lots of good places to catch uh, largemouth bass. Um, I was really trying to target uh, the striped bass, so I didn't fish it too hard. But uh, definitely a good spot there to catch some largemouth bass also.
Right there's dinner. That is dinner. Got the perfect scenario right now. I got the wind at my stern. I got the tide going out. So the wind is pushing me towards the current coming at me, which is the way the bait would be coming towards me and probably the way the fish are positioned the way I am to um, take bait. I can make a bomb cast with this plug right here and then just burn it back to me, burn, stop, burn, 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 stop, burn, pause, you know. And uh, we've gotten two bites, got one into the boat, got the perfect size eaten striped bass. Um, I got probably another three miles of uh, two miles of riverbank before I hit the truck. I'm going to call it a success. As the uh, sun gets lower, fishing's going to get better, but I just needed dinner. And old Rudy, I didn't bring his snacks. He's a little hungry.